Hi, it's Mindless Sanity 602 reporting to you with, finally, we're caught up the days, we still have like two more reviews to do this month, but we're gonna, you know, wait till the Pacific dates, so we have t you have two more days. I bet you're on the edge of your seat to figure out what those two films I'm going to be talking about are. <laughs> Anyways, this is for today's. Technically, there's two other reviews recorded today, but of a film that I just got done watching, and that's The Terminator, which is a 1985 R-rated 107-minute action science fiction film from James Cameron. <laughs> Now, a lot of people don't consider this a horror film, and I consider it to be a horror film. You got a Terminator kill, you know, it, I can see the sequels to this not being um, called horror films, because the way that they, you know, the way that they handled their action scenes were was more action-packed and contains you know more action this one the action scenes and all the other stuff was dealt with like a little bit more of a slasher film edge like it feels like the when you get a look when you get a confrontation with the liquid liquid metal terminators in both parts two and three those feel those, the way that those feel just feel like, you know, action-y. This, the Terminator in this film feels like a blood-cold slasher flick, slasher villain. Um, anyways, the Terminator is a film about, well, the one that I reviewed previous, Legion, pretty much has a similar plot to this film similar plot is that, you know, that they're trying to, you know, take out man's last hope of survival. I'm, really, I'm not a big fan of, you know, how, me reviewing stuff that is very similar. If, e even, the t even if the titles have one title that's similar, like, like, I... Or same director, or whatever. I, with these, I want to know to be a little bit more diverse and not share any commonalities between the films that I review. But I decided that this would be a cool one to do, and it'll be neat. Anyways, Terminator is pretty much well known as a classic. Um, I, 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 I agree to a certain extent. I think that the films, you know. It's pretty good. I think Arnold did a good enough job. It's back in the 80s when he, you know, got classic stuff. Like, you know, the 80s Arnold Schwarzenegger action flicks are really good. Nowadays, his films are pretty much crap. Like, I've seen a majority of the stuff like he did The Last Stand, which was last, like a last year's film. That was awful. Majority of the stuff that he's been doing as of late has been awful. I think, I think you know, being the governor, being the governor of the state that I currently live in, you know, kind of made him, you know, lose his mind of sorts. Um, he was—he never really was a good actor. But he was a serviceable actor that you could, you know, at least relate to and at least enjoy in his films. Like, Con like I've seen bits and portions. I haven't seen the full, legit films of the Conan Barbarian films. I haven't seen the legit two, the, the, the full things. But I've seen bits and portions. He seems like a, seems like a relatable actor. Like, you know, I could enjoy his way he carries the role. But, I seriously don't know. He, it seems like he is not, there's nothing really there. But all those big action stars of the 80s, like Slyvester Stallone, John claude Van Damme, you know, all those action stars pretty much have lost their minds. 
like, I have seriously, same thing goes to Sylvester Stallone. A guy that I'm not really a big fan of the Rocky films. I'm not a big fan of the Rocky or Rambo films. I know I know that's going to be blasphemous, but um, I'm really wasn't a big fan of those. But at least I could you know level with that. They they are just you know have been really putting out good films. The Terminator, it's an enjoyable film. I enjoy it. I think the characters are good. I think the way that the stories hold is it's pretty good. Um, I don't really find any illogic in the storytelling angle. I don't really see anything that's illogical. But I recommend The Terminator. I think it's a really good horror film. And as an action film, it's good as well. It's not really considered a horror film from the masses, but it, it, to me it does. And I enjoy it for what it is. Um, I'm not really into the ranking. A lot of people are like, oh, give uh, give this film like a 1 out of 10, like a, like a 5 out of 10. I don't really do ratings because I don't know. I just don't really don't do ratings. But if I did do ratings, I give this a nine. I just talk about whatever comes to mind. I'm not really the best reviewer, but you know, you get to enjoy the personality traits or whatever. But it doesn't matter. See ya uh, with. See with day twenty with with day thirty review, and if you're curious as to what this Blu-ray treatment is on this Blu-ray, the picture quality looks pretty awful. I you could tell that's it's like Echo Bridge, like a Blu-ray that you would get from Echo Bridge, where you could definitely tell that's in HD. You could definitely tell that's an HD master of the film, but other than that, it's just not really the most superb of transfers. And the in terms of the extra department, you only get like three extras, so there isn't really much there. And this is like, I think that this was the, like the first Blu-ray ever, I think that this was the first manufactured Blu-ray release. I may be wrong, but I think that this was my first Blu-ray that I ever got was Terminator Salvation, the fourth one, which is cool. Which is cool. Um, the only, the cool thing is that, um, yeah, that, um, I like Terminator 2. Terminator 2 is a great flick. Terminator 3 is a dumb fun, dumb fun film. I like it. Um, I like it a little bit more than, you know, the previous two, and I know that that's going to piss off a lot of people because a lot of people just think that the first two are awesome while the others suck. I like Terminator 3 better than all of them. I think it's the best, in my opinion. Then you have Terminator Salvation, which is a fun film. It's a fun film. It's not necessarily a quality film, but whatever. And the Terminator Service Connor Chronicles, that's an alright TV show. I'm excited for Terminator Genesis. It has come out next year. Although, as Arnold, and I'm not really a big fan of that, I see a lot of talent being put into it, and I... I I am, that's the only one that I'm really into anticipation to see next year. Only one out of two films. There are not many good films out coming out next year. Um, you, what do you have? What do you have? The Avengers, another Avengers film. Oh my, those are like so overburdened in the cinematic, cinematic realm. It's so annoying. The Avengers films are usually awful, and I'm not really a big fan of, you know, getting a sequel. I've seen bits and portions of the trailer to that film, and it just doesn't look appealing. Uh, it just doesn't look good to me. So, 
to you later. I'm sorry for the you know the big negative gloop that this video has. I like the film. I'm sorry for you know the negative gloop. Whatever. Enjoy the video. Enjoy the next two, and hopefully you enjoy the recap. It's so technically three, but whatever. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun shit, and I'll see you with day 29 of day 30. So let me bye.